Cypress tonight at 5 plans to make a dangerous crosswalk safer after a driver hits and kills a woman as she was trying to cross the street in New Hampshire. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Marissa Bodner. And I'm Greg Lagerquist. CBS 13's Brad Rogers takes a closer look at this intersection. It's in Rochester there in New Hampshire and why they say this tragedy may have been avoided if the city had acted sooner. Rochester police say Cindy Aspinall was in a mobility scooter crossing Columbus Avenue at this crosswalk on the afternoon of December 30th when a vehicle heading south hit and killed her. The family says their 57-year-old mother and grandmother struggled with disabilities but always had a smile on her face and especially loved her daily rides on her scooter. Well, it was really sad, especially since she was disabled in a, in a chair. Pat O'Brien favorite knows just how dangerous this Columbus Avenue crosswalk can be. The traffic goes pretty fast down the road and there's no pedestrian light, so it makes it difficult to cross. I think a pedestrian light is definitely needed and I think police presence until that happens will probably be helpful because when people see a police car, they slow down. This crosswalk was actually on the city's radar. A city safety committee was about to recommend that a crossing signal be put here when the deadly accident happened. Perhaps having that sign uh, may have helped, perhaps not, because the accident occurred in broad daylight. Last week, the Rochester City Council unanimously approved rapid flashing beacon pedestrian lights like the ones on Main Street for that crosswalk. It is a, uh, a very dangerous crosswalk, especially in a night like tonight. Uh, I think that these beacon lights will, will definitely help. Anytime you have a crosswalk across the major thoroughfare, it definitely should have at least a warning light. They've been addressing it. They knew it was dangerous. So. You feel like that crossing signal is needed here? I do. I do. Especially at night. City councilors are also looking at other dangerous crossings in Rochester, which they say could also benefit from flashing pedestrian lights. In Rochester, Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News. Now, Rochester police tell us this crash does remain under investigation. They're asking anybody who may have witnessed it to call them. Meantime, the cost of the new crossing lights is between fifteen dollars to $25,000.